Welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Nodding. This is the addendum to the previous live nodding. So it's basically the same, but I made an, some additional changes. And we get this something that's more like a balloony version of the previous uh, setup. So, yeah. So what's going on here? So again, uh, we started with a, an icosphere and then we distributed some random points on the faces of the icosphere. So we can randomize the seed and also we can uh, adjust the density. Just now I just delete the subdivision so it's looking a little bit more chaotic like this before subdivision. Um, so what's happening here? Let's see. Let's actually turn off some of the randomizations. Let's turn off this. Okay. Now, as you can see here, our spline now have random radius correctly. Okay. So we still have, okay. We started with a simple curve and we also scale the curve. Remember like, we use some random oops we use some randoms to randomize the length of the path okay now we have random radius based on the index of the original points this is possible thanks to the transfer attributes <clears throat> and it's using the nearest i could actually probably oh funny i didn't use index it needs to have the nearest anyway so points as a source goes into transfer attributes and based on this id we can take that index value and then use it with random value so this random value will correspond to the to the radius of our spikes or our hair okay so this is what i want to show you today so this is basically uh, pretty much what it is. It's a, it's pretty simple. Okay, we have the wiggle. I think the, I turn off the wiggle speed. Anyway, that, now that we have like a nice like a random radius, so it's like a little bit like cables, but I don't know. It's a, it's interesting looking. We can, we can now set position. Let's see. I think we don't need that guy. Resample based on the length, maybe, and then set the position. Okay, this is going to be more chaotic. I I'm holding shift while dragging this, just to be really careful. I think I'm okay with something like that. And then I have noise coming in, noise with add minus five, just to normalize it, and then scale, okay. Scale is important also. And on top of that, we might also want to use 40. Okay, the 40. This can be an animation. So scene time can go into the W. Make it wiggly. And then we can use math. Multiply this value. So just a float math. We had group group input wiggle speed so now each one of these can have different speed while wiggling and what else we can also add like a, for example the radius of this icosphere we can just pipe it out so we also have radius control if we have like large size creatures like that adjust the density yeah yeah I think now it's a uh, just a lot better than before what's the next thing we can do actually if you want to further work on this you can try to add like a head at the end there or just use extrude etc anyway like this guy you can subdivide 
because each one of them is like a real mesh and because I already assigned this random material it has different color you know it's kind of nice it's a, like an explosion it's like a fireworks explosions in different color um, yeah feel free to modify this setup I will give you the the nodes for the blend try not to just use the blend I mean I can give you the blend but try to rebuild the nodes anyway you will learn something just simply by rebuilding the nodes and then you this is of course like just and just the basic right uh, you can you can always modify the input here instead of using icosphere you can use other things like the remember the donuts so circle circle uh mess the curve curve to mesh this to create the donuts let's use a uh, control options uh, okay shift and right click and then I replace the icosphere with donuts now we have like this fat donut to work with the lines however it doesn't show you maybe we have too many objects now we need to change something change the radius and the resolutions and okay we have we have a donut shapes with all these tentacles and now we can just add a lot of resolutions per face okay remember the distribute points is on the face so we're gonna distribute like a random points distributions of these tentacles on the face of the donuts so this might actually this takes a while on my computer because it needs <clears throat> it needs to calculate every tentacles and turning it into a real mesh and yeah okay cool i guess we can render it now so all right so yeah it's becoming like a sea creatures lots of sea creatures actually have this type of design i thought this is can be kind of nice this is also similar to flower but flower is actually flower is less random i think we can delete that yeah i can keep just this one okay so that's pretty much it just an addendum uh, addendum to the previous live nodding so this time we can actually randomize the radius of each curve okay um so yeah this is the result that we are getting all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye